the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. weird, weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. Cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnup, great dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. If I'm gonna stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess, I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White's Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years when I was doing this film. It's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is- She's not gonna be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince, and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. Oh, you're so feminist and empowered. Great. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. This is Rachel Zegla, making it clear that her version of Snow White is so divorced from the original that the irrelevant male prince character could be edited entirely out of the movie and not break the stale girl boss don't need no man plot. Disney and Agenda? Together? No. <laughs> but it's less about what she says and more the way she says it. It's Hollywood, baby. Yes, beta tester, I want you to tell people what the name of this track is in the comments. It would take a team of highly skilled Everest climbing Sherpas to embark with any hope of success high enough up Rachel Zegler's ass to reach her. That's Hollywood, baby. A phrase that we couldn't possibly expect to come back to haunt this literal who that we haven't seen in anything. Forgive me. What? Hello, beta testers. <laughs> you wake abruptly, bleary-eyed, catching your breath, enveloped in darkness. You gaze out into an abyss. A form begins to materialize as if under a spotlight. You clench your fists. The mouse had escaped again. You're still heterosexual, as far as you can tell. You see a woman wearing a white t-shirt, B-cups at best. On the shirt is the word, Victim. She stands before two buttons. Above the button to the left are the words, Cost your production millions by running your narcissist mouth. And above the button on the right, two words, Shut up. Raising her arms, the woman unnaturally gestures as if to make her shirt easier to read. On so flat a surface, there was never a problem. Her gaze meeting yours, she maintains eye contact and abruptly brings her hand down over the right button before canceling momentum and bashing the button on the left. She tells you she is Latina and a retina search reveals that she lived in Joyzy, and her parents are of Polish and Colombian descent, you can't help but notice the top searches include things like where are her parents from, what is Rachel Zegler famous for, literally, who is this bitch? Your face betrays your disgust. Sensing the revulsion, she repeatedly bashes the left so button. She presses scary. the button. She presses Adventure. the button. And before you know it, she's pressing your buttons. Below, I have commented once for yes and once for no, beta tester. Like my comment based on your answer to this question. Will Rachel Zegler shutting up give the Snow White movie a better chance at profit? If you like the answer no, you probably believe that all the quote haters are overreacting and would be upset no matter what. But to be clear, 
What makes some of them so passionate in the first place is their appreciation for the material that was so impactful artistically that it's why we're still talking about it today. Disney also recognizes an original story wouldn't generate as much buzz. Which is why they're using the Snow White name even though they're stripping all the Snow White out of it. Of course, it can and should be adapted and change things to make it more relevant and relatable. But my issue, quite clearly, is that the relatability is not genuinely considered. It's more about showcasing what they demand you relate to. My issue is the lazy entitled My Turn Rachel Zegler way must include tearing down the old, reducing, diminishing, dissecting, and attempting to spin a modern take out of shit. And it's time that the piece of art that you reference is recognized as a benevolent thing, whereas your version is malicious. No, bitch. Snow White will remain a million times an execution of talent, passion, and love intended to inspire and move, not re-educate and deconstruct. Sorry, okay, uh, you know, I fuck. I should be thanking this woman because they're ju they're just dispensing free content for the types of people who uh, it shouldn't be. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a guy. Like and subscribe anyway. But I can be honest in not being a YouTuber enough to let you know that you are the we are bigger fans for you, Rachel Zegler, than even your own fans. However long they may have been fans, fuck them. Nobody is more in. We want you to do what you're doing, and and it's not just because it's like a weird almost Paris like what is a symbiotic relationship where oh you make it Ooh, we talk about it Ooh, you make it now nah, we talk about it you want fame you want fame you want fame bitch here you go here you go here you go you know what I mean because Mario will be stepping on the grave stepping on the grave stepping on the grave with a mouse stepping on the grave with a mouse in the house stepping on the grave in the mouse who's in the house Zegla who's in the house Zegla Zegla who's in the house Ooh, who's in the blouse Zegla who's in the house in the blouse Zegla the very foundation of Disney is now something for which they feel great shame. Dwarves are offensive. So Disney virtuously must consider how best to erase what literally holds them up. Literally. Disney said, yoink. You me, I mean, little person. And your little representative, peedly dinkly do. You? So to me... Citing what one little person has to say as to why, as to why we're not going to be considering something moving forward. It's like the, I have a black friend and my black friend said, my computer's crashed a bunch of times in the midst of me trying to talk about this. And it's clear I can't condense my thoughts into something a little less schizo and more coherent anyway. So to any Ziegler defenders, listen carefully to me with what I'm going to say and please strain your brain to comprehend it. Speaking as a representative of the common sense havers that you guys refer to as haters, I have duct taped pom poms, figuratively of course, to my hands so that I can cheer for Rachel Zegler in my sleep so that she keeps up the good fight in bringing Disney down. Anybody thinking, oh, misogynist, because you know what, uh, we feel like they should put this bitch on a leash. What do you want me to say? There are other people that are harmed by you flapping your gums. Shut up, not for you sake, but for their sake. You're calling us misogynist, but then you're like... Asked a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. All of his scenes could get cut, which of course would be fine for you because there are different standards for different genders and different races, and you enforce that, Rachel Ziegler. You're down with that. Gal Gadot's pissed because the performances they're using right now are not what she would have preferred. And her career is at stake, enough for her to fight about it, even as it shakes whatever may be in contract. And you'd be down for that. But if it was a dude having all his scenes edited out of the movie, you'd be weirdly silent. Fuck you. From Kyle. Beta testers, I love you. And Rachel, you're loved too. But the way you're conducting yourself demands you being pulled aside. 
And if your Polish, Jewish, Colombian peoples can't do that shit, then I'll do it for you. Your conduct is not becoming of a professional actress, let alone what used to mean something in the way of a Disney princess. You're setting a bad example and you should be ashamed of yourself. It's coming from the heart. No script, you know, broke computer and I can't afford to fix it. But we're watching you get millions to be repulsive. You are repulsive, Rachel Zegler. Defend it in the comment section. And to preemptively play devil's advocate to any big brain in the comment section that thinks that this is just played up, hammed up controversy for the sake of drumming up attention for the movie that it wouldn't otherwise have. Tell me how that makes this bitch money when people's eyes are open to the patterns and are openly rejecting what y'all pushing. That's why there's rewrites. That's why there's reshoots. That's why there's restructuring. I, I'm not about people who ignore data. So if that's what you're going to jump in the comment section to do, don't waste our time.